reading will be found on page 748 if you want to prepare your books. Today we will be featuring the Anaphora of the Twelve Apostles, which will be found on page 754.
joy, we have his eminence and the attitude, Bashar, be the cardinal rise, gave the ark of Antioch, and all these with us. Now, O Lord, 
body and glory with the fragrance of this incense and with all his prayers and sacrifices offered on their behalf. To exalt them on your spiritual altar, be pleased with what we have offered and prepare us to share in the dwellings of joy to which we have been invited because of our perfect faith in you and through the abundance of your mercy. Let your Father and your Holy Spirit but for a good Christian
of all. The one who is of the earth belongs to the earth and speaks about earthly things. The one who comes from heaven is above all. He testifies to what he has seen and heard, yet no one accepts his testimony. Whoever has accepted his testimony has certified this, that God is true. He whom God has sent speaks the words of God, for he gives the Spirit without measure. The Father, loves the Son, and has placed all things in His hands. Whoever believes in the Son has eternal life. Whoever disobeys the Son will not see life, but must endure God's wrath. <laughs> And all the past faith. 
This is an opportunity for us in our palaces and in this parish and, and all other parishes to strengthen the pastoral care for marriage and family. Our best guide in that pastoral care is the apostolic exhortation issued by Pope Francis on March 19 of last year entitled The Joy of Love. It was issued following two sessions for the General Assembly of the Synod of Bishops held in Rome in October 2014 and October 2015 dealing with marriage and family in the church and society today. Marriage between men and women is a divine institution elevated by Christ to sacramental level, for it to be a means to the presence of God, one, and the freedom, and the life of the married couple, so that the grace of God may be well in them to support, strengthen, and sanctify them. The family, by the grace of this sacrament, has become a domestic church through which the faith is passed on from one generation to another, where children learn how to pray and how to live in close relationship with God. And on the social level, the family is the living cell of society and the first natural school in which are taught the basic moral, social, and human values. He who God has sent speaks in the words of God. In the Gospel of heaven, St. John describes Christ as the blessed, the beloved Son who the Father has sent. And whose testimony is true because he spoke the words of God. The Father loved the Son and places all things in his hands. This is the story of a beautiful relationship between Father and Son. One that brings us to recognize the great love that the Father as for all of us and the great sacrifice Jesus endured for us because of that love. We are all disciples by the virtue of our baptism. We are sent to carry the word of God to people and spread the Christian culture that enriches human society with the spiritual human and social values. This is how we see the importance of the Christian presence in Lebanon and the countries of the Middle East. Led by wars, this is a presence that can be revived only through the word of God. Dear Father Mary and dear parishioners, Thank you for your outstanding witness to God's love. Generation after generation, may God grant eternal rest to all your faithful departed and bless you all. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.
and now a little bit of God's grace, and with the help of people who really love their parish, and who have roots here, and have come from other places. They're a beautiful community, so you know. They love their faith, they love their priest, and he loves them. He is a mirror image of them, and they are a mirror image.
with lots of love and prayers and support. There's so many ways that we can support him and help him. There's charitable, uh, 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 charitable outreach in Lebanon and the Middle East. There's his own financial responsibilities. There's his own moral persuasion to do for our own government and other governments of the world so that the conflicts of the Middle East can one day be resolved and that there can be peace so that Christians can continue to be the salt of the earth as they are and the light of the world as they are. Thank you. Let us pray. We thank you, Lord God and Father, and we ask for this divine communion.